Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, patient identifier sources in BAMI and how to add a new patient identifier source and how to set a default value of identifier source. So let's first see what a patient identifier source is in BAMI. This is my uh, registration screen of BAMI. Click on uh, create new so this is my uh, patient creation page so at the top you see patient identifier label beside which there is a drop down with set of values that are considered as patient identifier sources or sometimes as identifier prefixes in BAM so right now GAN is a selected uh, value for identifier source and this is also the defaulted value uh, I'm gonna show you how to create a new identifier source similar to GAN. Log in to OpenMRS, click on administration, click on manage identifier sources uh, at the left side under patients. You see a section with existing identifier sources which shows a list of identifier sources that are right now available in the system. Uh, right now there are five identifier sources you can choose to uh, edit the configurations or view the configurations by clicking on view and edit the configurations by clicking on configure like let's say if you wanted to change any of the configurations for example source name ASD click on configure button and I would like to edit the description new patient identifier source ASD and uh, I would like to change max length to 10 so right now I've changed two things the description is changed uh, to ASD at the end and max length is changed from 8 to 10 now click on save so the uh, changes will be saved if you wanted to check the changes click on view and verify whether the changes are reflected so I've added ASD at the last of the description and the max length is updated to 10 similarly when you go back to the same page manager uh, patient identifier sources at the bottom you see a section called add a new patient identifier source this is where you can add a new identifier source of your uh, choice uh, you can so you have to choose an identifier type uh, right now choose BAMI ID and source type as lo local identifier generator then click on add this is the page where you can uh, choose to give your required fields for the new identifier source uh, name of the identifier source I'm choosing SRA and I don't want to give a description and since it is an optional parameter I can choose to skip and base character set holds all the valid characters that you would think will form a valid identifier like in my case uh, let's say I think I want an identifier to be generated with a set of characters uh, Q W E and then a set of numbers 1, 2, 3 in the same order. So I choose 1, 2, 3, Q, W, E as base character set because I consider them will form a valid identifier in my case. And the first identifier base will be the starting identifier and any patient created with this particular identifier source will hold this first identifier base as an identifier in my case I am giving 113 as an identifier and uh, I want a prefix SRA and a suffix THI and maximum length is 3 and sorry minimum length is 3 and maximum length is 5 and then click on save okay so there's a warning saying invalid configuration the first identifier generated should be sra 113 thi since i gave a maximum length of a um, identifier as my five 
and the valid identifier generated is exceeding the five characters so it's giving me a warning so you have to choose a maximum length uh, at max the greater than the whole identifier so i will give it as 10 and then click save okay so now you see the existing identifier source has another entry with sra as a uh, source name to see the changes in the registration page of BAMI, go to BAMI registration page refresh the page and click on the drop down and you see at the bottom there is sra that is just added by us right now let's create a patient with sra and c so i have choose sra as identifier source and my patient name will be patient sra sra1 and then female 12 and choose village and click on save so you see the identity identifier that is generated is sra as the prefix uh, that was given by us and 113 is the first identifier base so you can validate it by checking the configuration again so the first identifier base is 113 and then suffix is THI so this is the first identifier created now let's create another patient uh, with the same identifier source I'm creating patient SRA2 uh, add the proper values village and then click save if you go back so the identifier generated right now uh, the prefix again SRA and the suffix THA and the middle part is a generated identifier um, so it is double one Q so if you see the configuration that we have added uh, my base character set that I've configured is one two three Q W E so the next character in the list is Q and since one one three uh, is already occupied the next character will be Q and so 11q is the identifier uh, generator so this is how a patient identifier is generated in BAMNI so I'm going to quickly show you how to add a default value for this identifier source right now the default value is GAN now I would like to default it to SRA so you have to follow these, for, uh, these steps that I'm going to show you right now go to your uh, box log into your box i'm gonna run this as super user root user uh, go to var ww bamni underscore config and open mrs apps registration you are going to modify the registration uh, modules configuration so it is registration and then you see a list of files here open app.json so i'm using a vi editor vi space app.json and select search for default identifier so the default identifier prefix right now it is gan i'm going to change this to sra click on i to insert remove the value enter sra and then save so go to bamni registration page refresh the page uh, here you go the patient identifier is now defaulted to sra so this is how you can create a new identifier and change the configurations again and add a default value thank you for watching this video